Hello. What's up guys? Hope you're good. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a quick video documentation of my DIY guitar wiring. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but I have a little experience in soldering when I was uh, in college. And I personally wired my two electric guitars. The first one is my Strat. I've replaced the bridge single coil pickup to a hump bucker. Replaced the five-way selector switch and the pots. Then the second is my Court Telecaster, which I molded to a treble bleed circuit. Today, I'll try to make this guitar A Les Paul copy right there to make sound again <laughs> although this guitar is not mine this one belongs to Hans Commendador shout out to you Hans yeah my initial troubleshooting was that when I plug this guitar to an amp it has less output on the neck pickup here and when I switch back to the bridge pickup, it doesn't make any sound. So maybe this pickup is already busted. So I've decided to replace it, including all the electronic components. The parts, the switch, the input jack, and the wires. So I guess this is a total guitar electronic rehab. So, hope uh, you enjoy this video. I'm gonna make a short time lapse for my process. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna plug this in and make a sound check. Hope you enjoy. Alright. So what do I need on this project? First this uh, pickup, this is a Wilkinson M-series Alnico 5 pickups This is a classic humpbacker I purchased via Shopee <laughs> This is uh, the bridge pickup right here The bridge pickup and the the neck pickup no covers yeah alright and the other one from Mon Montances guitar tech Shout out to Sir Mong for this uh, Les Paul wiring kit. We have here the pickup selector switch and the input jack wires, of course, wires and capacitors. Four potentiometers, uh, 500k ohms, and the secret ingredient. This is the treble bleed circuit. If you can see it, treble bleed. Focus, focus. No focus. <laughs> treble bleed. All right. Let's proceed.
So here we are again. And I'm plugging this to my pedal board and to my audio interface. I'm using an impulse response and all of this is captured via OBS. Let's check the tune. Hope this works. This is my clean tone. The neck pickup. Let's see if the potentiometers is uh, functioning. Volume. Alright. The tone pot. This one here, the upper potentiometers was controlling the neck pickup. The tone pot. If you turn the tone down, it goes to a warmer tone. How about the middle? It doesn't make any sound. Oh, it's because the volume is not engaged. So you can do the Tamorello effect. <laughs> Adjusting the toggle switch faster. But let's just uh, turn the volume up. This is for both the pick up. Right. How about the bridge pick up? This is the bridge pick up. Let's add some delay. Delay and reverb. Alright. Sounds great. How about a chorus, I think? Chorus. Let's add some vintage chorus. pick up right <laughs> let's add some overdrive I'm using a tube screamer Let's add some gain. Add some reverb.
with some extreme distortion. Add some reverb. All right, sounds good to me. And I hope uh, Hans will enjoy this guitar playing it every day hope you enjoy this video thank you